Hey everyone, James here. Today I'm gonna share a drill that you can use to help improve your eyesight and your and your vision. Um, at Move to Perform, we use vision training a lot. Uh, we believe vision training is really important for improving people's movement, improving people's posture. Um, but another kind of avenue that you can go in that is just trying to improve your eyesight in general. And not that long ago, I posted up a video teaching a concept called active focus. Uh, that was, that's the idea that you can train the ciliary muscles, which control the shape of the lens in your eye, um, to, to contract and work a little bit harder, uh, therefore allowing you to be able to see things a little bit more clearly. And with prolonged practice of this, your eyesight can actually improve. Um, this got quite a bit of attention and got quite a bit of uh, comments and questions and likes. So I thought I would share another couple of videos that can help with uh, improving your eyesight as well. Um, one of the big things that was mentioned was I'm trying to do active focus. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about with that, I'll leave the link uh, down below. But People were saying, I'm trying to act to focus and no matter what I do, I just can't get it to can't get it to work. I'm standing on the edge of blur. I'm at just the point where uh, I can't see things just like uh, we said to do in the video, but things just aren't working out. So if you're finding sometimes it can just take quite a long time to, to get this to work. But if you're finding that just no matter what, it's not working, there's always a chance that maybe something else isn't working quite as it should be that is also hindering the, the active focus from being able to happen. So what we're going to look at today is rather than looking at the ciliary muscle, that's the one inside that changes the shape of the lens, um, we're going to look at the muscles around the outside of the eye. So we're going to look at the extraocular muscles and see how good are they at actually stabilizing on one specific point? So if you imagine your ciliary muscles, the better ciliary muscles is like having a better camera lens. You know, you can zoom in a little bit f further. Everything's a little bit clearer because the, the camera lens is able to zoom in uh, to exactly the right uh, focal length every time. Um, that's great. But what happens if the hand that's holding the camera lens is shaky? chances are you're still not going to be able to pick things out. You're still not going to be able to make out any detail, not because the lens is bad, but because nothing's stable. So the, the light information that's coming in is scattering everywhere. So today we're going to look at a concept called gaze stabilization. And basically all that is, is your eyes ability to stay still while you're while the lens is trying to focus on something um, for this you're going to need a pen or something with a thin tip um, and all you've got to do you're going to hold about roughly arm's length away uh, you're going to hold the pen now hopefully your hand can stay steady if your hand's shaking this maybe isn't going to work so you might want to set uh, set the pen up get a clamp just jam it down somewhere. Uh, if your hand can stay uh, relatively still, then great. And all you're going to do is basically have a staring contest with the pen. So I'm going to hold it directly in front of my nose. I'm going to stare at it. And I want to see how long I can actually stare at it for. Okay. Now, I'm saying it's like a staring contest because you're going to add in some rules. So you want to be able to stare at it without your eyes jumping and jumping back. Uh, that might not be something you notice that you're doing. So maybe film yourself when you're doing this as well. Uh, but for some of you, you will notice it feels like you're staring at it. And then it feels like you can still see it, but you're not really looking at it. And then it snaps back. Uh, there's a good chance that your eyes have just, uh, they needed, the, they were tensed up in one position and then they just needed to rest and then tensed up again. Uh, so that's one thing you want to watch out for. The second thing you want to watch out for is um, either your eyes stinging, like it starts to get really uncomfortable, if you start to tear up, um, 
or if you need to, if you feel like you need to blink. So blinking is not necessarily bad, like if blinking once or twice, fine. If it feels like you have to blink, uh, that's bad. And if you want to just make it really clear cut, just say it only counts for as long as you can stare at one spot without blinking. Um, as a benchmark, you probably, like, what we would say to do this well, you probably want to be able to, to stare for 30 seconds. Let's say 30 seconds is probably pretty good. There's probably not going to be a time where you need to stare very intently just at one thing for 30 seconds. So that's probably a good benchmark. Um, if you find that you can't even get to five seconds when you're staring, uh, that's probably something that's going to need work and it's very unlikely if your eyes are not able to to fixate for more than about five seconds without needing to jump and shift and just do whatever it takes to relax those extraocular muscles is very unlikely that the ciliary muscles are going to feel comfortable trying to zoom in on stuff when actually it's being shown a different picture every time um Luckily, the way to practice this is the same way as to test it. So if you want to practice it, just eyes in front, hold that gaze uh, for as long as you can. Um, and there you go. Just keep trying to build it up, build it up, build it up um, until you can get, as I say, around about 30 seconds, probably good. If you want to take this a little bit further, like I said, at Move to Perform, we try to train people's movement and help them improve their movement skills. Uh, you can also just try this in multiple positions. So keep your head still, just bring the pen to somewhere else, move your, <laughs> don't move your head, <laughs> move your eyes, and see in that new position, is it better, is it worse, is it the same? Can you hold for just as long? Or can you find one position that actually, uh, it things start to freak out, it doesn't, it doesn't like it? Um, you may be surprised, you may have some that work really well, some that don't work really well, maybe one side, uh, things don't work as well as the other side. You don't know, you don't know until you test. So let me know how you get on with that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like more information on uh, how we use vision in aiding with movement and posture, uh, feel free to message us uh, on here Otherwise, you can check out our website, movetoperform.co.uk. We have an entire program, our vestibular reset program, which is a combination of vision and balance drills designed to help your movement and help your posture. So check it out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again later.